Hello, welcome at my YouTube channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to connect a radar speed camera to the Farag Car System Digital and how to write an automation program such that the radar will flash at the right moment when a speeding car approaches. As an example, I use the radar from the company Maven. This radar operates at AC or DC. But in order to make it flash at a precise moment, it requires a circuit to be closed for two seconds by a push button. Now, I'm going to operate this with the Fala automation program. We will need to connect this radar to the Fala car system at a Whiterings module. However, that module has only outputs which give 15 volt DC contact. So, how do we link this Erweiterings module with the MAVEN? My solution is to use a monostable 12 volt DC relay. If the Erweiterings module gives an output signal, then this relay will close and trigger, in fact, the push button action for the MAVEN to be activated. Now, to connect this relay to the 15 volt DC, we will need to use a resistor to drop the voltage to 12 volt. The relay consumes about 30 milliamps, so we need a 100 ohm resistor to create a 3 volt drop. I have tested this setup on the workbench before installation under the layout. For the simulation I have used a 15 volt DC coming from a transformer. So, now let's install the radar at its final position on the layout. For that I drill a 6mm hole. It's a little bit of work to get the wires for the layout. Then we install all the electronics under the layout and connect it to the Erweiterings module. In, in my example I connected it to the output contact of my module 5, which has address 512. So, now we're going to program in the Falakar system, the radar location, and the detection zone location. For the radar, we use traffic light. We leave the three tick boxes blank. The name V39 is automatically assigned. And we will use as a digital address 512 which correspond with output 12 on my Erweiterings module number 5. I changed the name to V39 Radar, so I can easily find it back later. Now we are going to program the detection point. For that we create a section of about 15 centimeters long. We can later on still change the location of the section to make it more accurate to activate the radar. It automatically gets named S56. I add a name so they can easily find it back. So, now we're going to program the automation script using the automatic editor. We have pushed the plus button and the screen opens. I give it a small name, radar detection at the station because I have other radars also on the layout. Now we start with the script. The first is RC Max. RC Max means that if any vehicle is exceeding the following maximum speed, the software will go to the next line. So we look up in fact for zone S56, which was our detection zone. And we use here 25 km per hour as the speed limit. So only when in fact a vehicle in this zone has passed the speed limit, we go to line 2. In line 2, we're going to activate the virtual traffic light, V39. 
and we set it at red. This means now we get a signal of 15 volt at the output. We give it 3 seconds because the uh, radar needed actually 2 seconds to be activated. And then we switch off uh, the virtual traffic light again. We pause for another 4 seconds. And then we type repeat, which means the script goes back to the beginning. And if an next vehicle also will speeding, it will be caught again with the software. So that's all. We save it. And now we can test it. You will see the fan activating the detection zone and immediately the virtual traffic light will go 3 seconds from green to red. The radar gets activated and flashes. Thank you for watching. Any questions? Let me know in the comment section.